Hi everyone, welcome to the Swift Arcade. I'm your host, Jonathan Rasmussen. In this episode, I'd quickly like to show you one way of animating controls in iOS, and that is through animation of constraints. I'd like to show you how you can take a simple view controller with some labels like this, set up some constraints so they initially appear on screen, and then as the app startups, they animate and slide on in. So if you'd like to see how to do that, come with me and I'll show you in the arcade. Okay, so just to set the stage a bit, this is a plain old UI view controller. I've got some labels. I'm using programmatic auto layout, doing all the standard UI kit type stuff to layout this page. What I'd like to show you first is how to just do a simple animation, and that is set the labels off screen here and then slide them in. Okay, so to do that, there's a couple things we need to do. One, we need to set it up so that these labels actually initially appear off screen over here. So we're gonna take a leading constraint for each of these labels, give it a really big value, and essentially just put these off screen for our first pass of auto layout. That's, that's how we're gonna set it up. So basically I'm gonna define a couple of variables here. I'm gonna go to the leading edge on screen. In other words, when these are on screen, I'd like these to be 16 points from the leading edge. But when they're off screen, I'm gonna give them a really big value like 1,000 so they appear over here. Then I need to grab those constraints as variables because we're gonna change the constants of them. So I'm gonna grab the title leading anchor, the subtitle leading anchor, and then down below, I'm gonna grab those as constants basically when I set up my auto layout. So what I need to do is I need to get that subtitle leading anchor, grab it as a variable, and then manually activate that to be true and set it to that variable. Same thing for title. So now once I've got those, and we've set those up off screen, now comes the fun part, we can animate those in. And the way that we animate those in is we first let auto layout do its initial layout for the page. And then up here in view did appear, in other words, the page has fully laid out, now we do the animation. And for the animation, we change the constants of these variables. So initially they're off screen with a value of 1000. We're gonna change them to be 16 and we're gonna wrap that in a UI view property animator. This is where the animation occurs. Whatever we put in this block here, it's going to animate to, and very important, make sure you call layout if needed. This is what triggers another pass for auto layout. It's gonna re-render the page and update everything. And then we just start our animator like this. So with this code, set up like this, simply by changing the auto layout constraints, we can take something off screen, animate it in, and give it a really cool effect. So that's pretty cool, but we're not done yet. Something else we can do with our animations is stagger them. For example, we could take the title, animate it in with one set of properties, and then take the subtitle and delay it a bit and animate it in with another. So for example, here, we'll bring in the first, the title at the top, and then after a five second delay, we'll slide in the subtitle. This will give your animations a really nice staggered effect and it can look really good. Then the third thing we can do is we can play with the visibility. We can basically change the alpha. Watch what happens when I take the title label and I set its alpha to be zero, the subtitle label set its alpha to be zero, and then add in a third animation effect, one that brings in the alpha, sets it back to one in a separate animator, also staggered in this case with a 0.2 second delay. If we run this now, not only will we see our labels slide and staggered, we'll see a nice little animation in where we phase the labels in from a background of zero, completely hidden, to one where they're visible with an alpha of one. All right, so there you have it, folks. Nice little example of how to do some custom animations with constraints. Animation is a big topic. There's lots of ways of doing this in iOS, but often with animated constraints, it'll get you a lot of what you need. So feel free to start there if you want to add some animations to your apps. The source code for everything you've seen here is available on my website. Simply go to the Swift Arcade on GitHub, click on constraint-based, and there you'll see all the source code and a description of everything we've talked about here. And if you like this stuff, do hit like, do hit subscribe. I'm working on a course where I'm gonna show you how to do this and more. So do come back, keep checking these videos out and we'll continue our iOS journey together. 
All right. Thanks so much for coming, everyone. Have a great weekend. We'll see you next time. Bye-bye.